Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams and two former top 20 tennis players, Aslan Karatev and Nicholas Vasilashvili, along with a former coach that they had worked with previously, have been accused of match fixing and under investigation, according to an anonymous source given to a German newspaper. This is what the anonymous source had to say about the two and their workings with this coach. This is the statement by the anonymous source to German newspaper ZDF, talking about the coach that Vasilashvili and Karatev had worked with previously, Yahoo Yatsi. Referring to Yatsi, they say, he always had a lot of money with him. He's on the circuit and looking for young players who have financial problems or mental problems. Those who can be easily won over with money. Yatsi worked closely with both of them, referring to Karatev and Vasilashvili, and watched them for years. They are both incredibly talented players, but they have financial problems at the beginning, and also important phases of weakness and fell down the rankings. He reached out to them at a critical moment in their careers. So there you have it. The statement by the anonymous person talking to the German newspaper. And it's interesting because both these players have had pretty bad times in their careers. I know Karatev, you know, we know that he's kind of blown up the last couple of years. But before that, he was grinding out the challenger circuit. The Silas Villiers had his moments on tour. And the allegations are actually referring to those kind of matches, those low-level tournaments. And also in uh, Vasilis Vili's case, actually a doubles match that he played where some, some some massive bets were put on some of those matches for those particular players to lose. So that's where these kind of things have come up. And the ITIA, which is the sort of the tennis integrity unit, uh, are kind of putting in these under investigation to see that's a bit strange that the betting would have gone, uh, you know, so against these two players at that time and large chunks of money in the betting world on the challenger circuit always raises concerns but let me know down in the comments below do you think there's anything to this or do you think it's just something to talk about after Wimbledon and you know it'll just go away and it won't be uh, investigated further these players haven't been charged with anything it's still just sort of first hearing about this um, but it could be you know a lot of bans I mean lifetime bans have been given out for this kind of stuff in the past so let me know down in the comments below do you think there's anything to this